Hi everyone, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Ovi, I'm a second year medical student and welcome to Ovi Med. Alright, so in this week's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the semester I just finished in medical school. So now I'm in second year and I've just finished my first semester of my second year of medical school at TCD in Ireland. So I know I didn't post quite a lot of things last semester due to the extremely busy nature of the semester and all the extracurricular projects and stuff that I had going on. But now I'm going to talk to you about exactly every single course that I had, a little bit about the content that we saw. Uh, the exams, how they went, because they were in person in the big warehouse. So yeah, that was quite different um, than like my previous experience and from online exams. Uh, and yeah, so without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, this semester or this last semester, I had five courses. So I have the list right here on my computer. So the first one was infection and immunity. The second one was head and neck anatomy. Then I had pharmacology, then I had clinical biochemistry, and I had clinical skills. So the name of the courses kind of speak for themselves a bit, I guess. So let's start with the first one, which is infection and immunity. So in infection and immunity, I sort of had like three courses in one, it was like a three in one, because within that same course, we had immunology, parasitology, and microbiology. So all of those three were part of I and I, as we call them, infection and immunity. So within I and I, we had these three. So in immunology, we learn everything about the innate immune system versus the adaptive uh, immune system and how the short term and long term and all the cells involved, all the pathways, not all of the cytokines, but quite a lot of them uh, and things like that. The roles of the different uh, white blood cells like neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, uh, B cells, types of B cells, type of T cells and stuff like that. So pretty straightforward. Then the second course that we had was parasitology. So in parasitology, we had different sort of modules. There was a focus on neglected tropical diseases, which was um, kind of fun. And then the final course was microbiology. So in my undergrad, if you remember from my video, which I talked about um, what I did during my undergrad, um, I did one year of microbiology and immunology before changing into biomedical sciences uh, and completing my undergrad in biomedical sciences. And in that one year, the kind of things that we learned were really like environmental, like how, um, I don't know, like microbes work with like trees and fungi and stuff like that. It wasn't really medical. So that's why I changed programs, but I'm happy that now that I'm in medical school, the microbiome that we're seeing is medical. So we're seeing like fungal infections. Now we're seeing obviously like bacterial infections. Uh, we also saw viruses in there. So yeah, that was really interesting. And oh my God, if you don't know about Sketchy Micro, I would really suggest like, yeah, just get Sketchy Micro. It's so good. I use it for my exams and went really well. So yeah, Sketchy Micro, really good. If you want, I can make another video about how I study for every single one of these courses. Um, let me know in the comments down below for incoming first years that are going to go into second year and want to know uh, how to study for these. But for anatomy, I already made a video, I think, uh, which I'm going to link right here last year. And I pretty much did the exact same thing, except that I used Anki this year. So yeah, that was different. So moving on to speaking of anatomy, about head and neck anatomy. So guess what? It's head and neck anatomy. Ooh, yeah. Um, a lot of stuff. You might think that, oh, okay, it's a head. It's kind of small. The neck, okay, small. Do you know how much anatomy there is in the neck? Oh my God, all the layers of muscles, all the vessels, all the nerves. Yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff. I thought that, like I remember in first year where I was thinking about like the musculoskeletal system, I was like, oh my God, there's so many muscles, so many things. And I'm thinking back, I'm like, oh my God, that was so simple, you know, it was just like bones, muscles, attachments, function, nerve, blood vessels, and like that's it, it was like pretty easy. But now there's like all these different layers going like, underneath like crossing but then you have two heads and like that they're like held by a sling anyways it's just like more complex i guess it's harder to visualize i think that's what makes it harder it's harder to visualize than like big musculoskeletal muscles because like you can clearly see their functions but in the head and neck it's kind of like a bit blended so yeah 
um, it was way harder than Musculus Little or the like abdomen internal anatomy, uh, at least I found personally. But yeah, it was fun. Uh, we saw all the nerves and stuff, um, all of the muscles, and it was quite detailed. And yeah, now we sort of have to go back on that knowledge that we gained because now we have a neuroanatomy block um, for you know the following semester after Christmas. We have this big neuro uh, block where we're gonna have neuropsych, neurochem, um, neuroanatomy, neurophysiology, neuro something, neuro something else. So yeah. We have this whole like six week block of neuro, which apparently is quite intense. So yeah, we'll see about the posting schedule then. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So moving on to pharmacology. So in pharmacology, as the name suggests, you learn about drugs, you learn about different types of drugs, you learn about the different classes. So what I did to study for that, I learned about the different classes, like the big, big classes. And then like I learned a few examples of these um, so yeah, that was quite fun because, you know, you see drugs. I've worked in a pharmacy before uh, as a pharmacy tech, you know, helping count the pills. I would make some cream sometimes, you know, with like crushed uh, medications that you mix with cream and stuff to create like topic treatments and stuff. So yeah, um, seeing like all these names come back, now I'm like, oh my God, okay, there's quite a lot of people who have diabetes. Like, okay, that's what this medication was for. Like, oh yeah, there's quite a lot of people who have like hypertension. And then you realize that in your community, like you see a lot of these drugs that repeat and now seeing them in class, you're like, oh, okay, that's what it means. So yeah, you kind of get to see like the problems in your community, depending on like what kind of drugs the people are being prescribed very often. So yeah, that was like kind of cool, like a different insight that, you know, I, I don't know, I just found very interesting. Anyway, I didn't do very well on this exam, neither did my colleagues and my friends uh, in my class, but you know, people know that it happens. People know that they get wrecked on this first pharmacology exam, but this course lasts for the entire year. So now we had um, this Christmas exam, which was worth 30%. Then we have a research project within that same course um, the, this following semester. And then the summer exam is worth, I think, 50 something percent, 55 um, minus like the research project, which is, which is like 15, 16 percent, something like that. So uh, you can make it up. But yeah, I'm definitely going to start learning and memorizing stuff at least like two months in advance because there's quite a lot of content. So yeah, that's it for pharmacology. Moving on to the next course, which is clinical biochemistry. So this is, I think, one of my favorite courses that I've had so far. Why? Well, because we're learning about like the tests, you know, like the actual things. When you're watching like TV shows and they're like, oh yeah, let's order CMP, BMP, uh, I don't know, like, uh, like urine tests, blood tests, like all the blood panels, blah, 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 the things. And now you like sort of start to pick up on those things. You sort of realize, okay, they ask for uh, like urease or I don't know, urea. And then you're like, oh, okay, that's like to test the kidneys or something like that. I don't know. Or if they say, oh yeah, the patient has elevated creatinine or if they have like high troponin or something, they're like, oh, okay, that's a cardiac marker. That means there might be some sort of problem with the heart. Anyways, but yeah, it's kind of fun to like see these tests and then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's what it means. But mainly what we've seen, um, so in the first part of the course, we had uh, lectures on diabetes, obesity, uh, and uh, the bone regulation, like mainly calcium and stuff like that, and the extracellular matrix and how it can contribute to cancer when inflamed and stuff like that. Uh, and then in the second part of the course, it was very much like a lab focus, like things you would order in a hospital when you see a patient. So we had a big block on endocrinology. So we saw like uh, the thyroid, we saw like all the glands, adrenal glands, stuff like that, and the diseases associated with that, the symptoms. And then for the other part of clinical biochem, we saw like all the minerals, like, you know, salt, um, potassium, and things like that. And like the symptoms of hypernatremia, for example, and hyponatremia, like, if a patient has like edema in his legs and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it's just really nice because it's clinical. It's it's med school, it's like medicine, like, like finally, this is fun. So yeah, I really like that course. Uh, the exam, the first part was essays about like diabetes, obesity, um, calcium. Oh yeah, we also saw coagulation. Um, and yeah, and the second part was like clinical cases where you saw like a little description of a patient and they were like, oh yeah, this, per this person came in, they have amenorrhea, uh, let's say it's a woman, amenorrhea, 
uh, and they had like headaches and stuff like that and I don't know lethargic or cold and then you sort of like piece them together and then you're like okay these are might be symptoms of like hypothyroidism and something like that and then you look at the lab values and you see like oh, okay low T3 T4 but high TSH and you know that TSH is released by the pituitary gland they're like oh, okay so it might be a problem with the thyroid gland itself and then you're like okay is it primary is it secondary and like yeah it's just it's just cool it's like it's medicine yeah Okay, and moving on to the last course that we had is clinical skills. Now, this course lasts for the entire year as well, like pharmacology. And in clinical skills, what we saw in the first semester, um, we, I think it was all online except for one or two seminars that we had, and it was focused on history taking. So at one point, we were all like in this like big lecture theater. Uh, I mean, all of us, like our pods, so like 20 of us, not like the whole class, because you know, COVID and stuff. So yeah, and we were practicing taking histories off of one another. We had like this little scenario and the like the other person were like in groups of three. So one person was a patient with the script, the other patient, uh, the other patient, the other person was the doctor and the other, the third person was like an observer. So we were taking notes like, oh, you forgot to ask, uh, like since when did the pain start? Or like, oh yeah, uh, you forgot about like their meds or their allergies. So, so yeah, it was really cool. And this course is continuing this semester, this upcoming semester. And guess what we're gonna start doing? Clinical skills, so physical exams and stuff like that. So I sent an email to the professor in charge of that course, and they said that we need to bring our stethoscopes for next semester. So I'm finally gonna learn how to use, I mean, I already know a little, little tiny bit about how to use it, but yeah, now we're gonna learn it properly in school. I think we're gonna start um, to like learn on one another. Uh, unless they have mannequins, I have no idea. I don't know yet. I haven't been to a clinical skills lab or session yet. So yeah, that's gonna be really fun. Finally some, you know, tangible medicine while being wrecked by neuro. But yeah, more updates on that next semester. <laughs> So I told you I was going to talk to you about the exams. So the exams were held in this huge warehouse with like hundreds, if not thousands of seats and tables, kind of like big and weird to see like that many people under the same roof since, I don't know, like two or three years since the pandemic has started. So yeah, everything was in person by hand, not on a computer. So yeah, for essays, that was a bit of a different challenge in terms of studying because, you know, you just have some sort of muscle memory when you're typing and stuff, but now you gotta write, you gotta write faster, you gotta think faster a little bit because you can type faster and take breaks, but now, yeah. Oh, speaking of breaks, my wrist, oh my God. Anyway, so yeah, in-person exams, uh, same thing for MCQs. Um, the only thing that wasn't in person was the anatomy lab exam. In the past, you have this like bell or spotter exam. So you have like, I think, one minute to look at a structure like you have a cadaver in front of you with like a pin somewhere and the question is going to be either like identify what's the function what's the nerve supply what's the blood supply blah blah and then you would have the professor asking you the question and you would answer like live so yeah i'm kind of glad we didn't have to do that because oh my god it must be so stressful like having the professor or like a ta or a teaching assistant like watching you and you're like uh i don't know whereas if it's online you can like think and be like oh, okay i don't know but yeah i'll come back to that later like in person you can't come back to it later you do the station and then you move on so yeah anyways and the exam like oh my god they had like a few problems i ended up redoing rewriting the exam with like half of the class as well because the images were like too big and yeah platform was just laggy but um all ended well everything was fine i finished first semester i'm done it's over now um it's break time it's vacation time and i'm in canada as you can see in my room and i'm gonna go back at the end of january because that's when we start back um, school i'm not doing the scholarship exams which is in january as well because i just don't want to bother with it and i don't think it means that much in canada when i'm gonna apply back residency and i want to enjoy the little time that i have back home not studying so yeah just personal decision so anyways if you have any questions about these courses or how i studied or why i did just send me a dm on instagram you can comment down below 
Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you first year Trinity Med students. Um, if you're not from Trinity, well, I hope you enjoyed seeing what um, Trinity Med students learn in their first semester of their second year of med school. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't see my previous videos, I'm gonna link them right here. So go and have a look and see you in the next video.